Climate change means society change. It means that farmers and city dwellers alike are facing increasingly costly and damaging extreme weather, from droughts to downpours. Rising temperatures threaten to undo the progress we're making in restoring the Chesapeake Bay. Children and the elderly and those who work and play outside are breathing increasingly damaging air. With over 3,000 miles of coastline, Maryland is especially vulnerable to sea level rise. And of all the coastal cities across the country, Annapolis and Baltimore are the most susceptible to increased flooding that will come with climate change. All of these impacts, which are driven by our combustion of fossil fuels like coal, gas, and oil, are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the impacts of climate change on our society and our economy. But the very good news is that we're also just at the tip of the iceberg when it comes to clean energy. Even just within our state, the power of the sun and the wind could provide more than all of the electricity we use today. My name is Pat Lippold and I'm Vice President for 1199 SEIU. We're in a public health crisis driven by fossil fuel consumption. This crisis disproportionately affects low-income families and people of color. Poor air quality leads to poor health outcomes. It leads to increased asthma rates and as well as other related respiratory diseases. Well, I'm Charlie Carter. I'm Executive Director of Maryland Working Families, and along with our affiliates, we stand in support of doubling Maryland's renewable energy portfolio to 40% by 2025. Renewable energy doesn't just mean cleaner air and a cleaner environment for all of us. Maryland is already one of the top solar states in the country, with over 130 solar companies and 2,000 jobs, but we can do so much better. The Maryland Energy Administration estimates conservatively that the Eastern Shore wind farms could create a billion dollar economy. This is part of our responsibility as people of faith to look out for our neighbor, especially those who are the most vulnerable. In all of our faith traditions, we are commanded to love, to look after every one of us. No one gets left behind. We believe to the extent that we can do things to clean up our air. That is a way of expressing our love for every human being, no matter where they live, whether uh, they're in rural areas or city areas, rich or poor, black, brown, white, it makes no difference. This is a measure that shows our love for every citizen. Let's move Maryland forward with clean energy. The Maryland faith community wants to move forward with clean energy. So, I'm asking you to join me and Maryland Working Families in support of doubling Maryland's renewable energy portfolio to 40% by 2025.